Hello friends, this is Sandeep. So in this video, I am going to show you about how to become a deck officer in Motion AI. And friends, there are mainly two ways to become a deck officer. The first one is about after completing your ten plus two. And the other one is about after completing your BSc diploma or else your BTEC other than mechanical engineering. Let's see one by one. So friends, let's see how to become a deck officer after your 10 plus 2. So friends, uh, in your intermediate, the PCM percentage should be at least 60% and your English subject, at least there should be 50% in your both 10, 10, 12. And friends, you need to write one more exam that is IMU CDT exam which is conducted by IMO after selecting that examination so you will be joining an institute so the first and second semester which lead to your DNS for Merchant Navy so at the end of your second semester you will uh, company will be selecting by you and they will be giving onboard training after your onboard training so you need to write some written and oral exams which will be conducted by IMO so after qualifying that the IMO will be giving you a certificate that is DNS in nautical census and also COC certificate of competency means the candidate is eligible for doing uh, like as a deck officer in Mochi Navy. and friends the other one is diploma in nautical census these uh, will be come under the person who have uh, done their BSc or else B or B tech. So friends, the person who had done their BSc, they should have at least 50% in their final year exam and the person who had done B or B tech hmm, in a recognized uh, institute, uh, institute or university, they need to have at least 50% in final year. And friends, after that, there will be a lot more companies like anglo Asian, British and Samudra so many companies are there in India so they need to uh, apply for a written and oral and psychometric test and all these things so there will be few steps that will be carried out to become a tech officer I'll explain right now and friends the person who had uh, more than 25 years they are not eligible for this course and also the person who had done his B or B tech mechanical they are not eligible for this course and the person who had done B or B Tech Mechanical, they are eligible for GME, that, that is Graduate Marine Engineering, and they can become as a Chief Engineer. And some other video I had done about GME, you can refer this video. Okay. And friends, let's see how to become a Captain or Master. So, after completing your DNS, means a Diploma in Nautical Sciences, your PC training you will be going to onboard training that is of 18 months and after that friends you need to write one exam that is second mate exam and after clearing that exam and medical test you will be joining as a third officer and after your experience you, need, you will become as a second officer directly and after clearing that uh, like uh, period as a second officer that is 18 months so you will be writing one more exam that is first mate exam so you will be promoted as a chief officer so in the chief officer period you need to do again 18 months of your onboard training so after you are onboard training you need to write master's exam so after you are writing the master's exam and clearing that and there will be some preparatory courses you need to do that so after that you will be promoted as a captain so according to your experience in your ship so the salary will be increasing as you can see this layout the master will be the head of the ship so under the master chief officer and chief engineer will be working in deck department chief officer will be the head and in engine department the chief engineer will be the head and friends if you have any doubts in this uh, video you can comment and i will be replying as fast as possible thank you